We're learning more tonight about how coronavirus attacks the body. Tonight, doctors are alarmed about a symptom being reported in children, unexpected inflammation throughout their bodies. Our chief medical correspondent, Dr. John Lapook, now on these new findings. Tonight, health officials around the world are puzzled by a rare complication of COVID-19 being noticed in children. There are some recent rare descriptions of children um, in some European countries that have had this inflammatory syndrome, which is simi similar to the Kawasaki syndrome. Reports show a growing number of cases of multi-system inflammatory disease similar to Kawasaki disease, which is a disease most common in children characterized by fever, swollen lymph nodes, and inflammation in the eyes, mouth, and skin. It often follows a viral infection. Dr. Jane Newberger is with Boston Children's Hospital. If they get treated promptly, will do well. But a small proportion uh, will go on and develop enlargement in the coronary arteries or even aneurysms of the coronary arteries. Here in New York, at least three children have been hospitalized with a rare inflammation of the heart related to COVID-19. It's a tiny minority of a kind of a shock syndrome, and sometimes with uh, some signs and symptoms that looked a little bit like what we can see in Kawasaki disease. Coronavirus is proving to be much more than a traditional respiratory illness, with unusual symptoms being reported almost daily. For example, loss of taste and smell, and frostbite toes, purplish patches seen on the feet of children and young adults, possibly caused by increased inflammation and clotting. Doctors are seeing second week crashes where individuals seem to be doing relatively well at first, then develop extreme symptoms such as shortness of breath requiring urgent treatment. We first thought COVID-19 was just a disease of the lungs, but Nora, these complications are unusual for pneumonia and teaching doctors to expect the unexpected. All right, Dr. Lapook, 